We're going to turn now to a stunning medical breakthrough, helping a man who was paralyzed for over a decade walk again. Researchers say it uses artificial intelligence to reconnect his brain and spinal cord and gives doctors and patients a new reason for hope. Will Reeve has a story, and Will, this breakthrough holds special significance for you. It does, Michael. My dad was Christopher Reeve, and he suffered a spinal cord injury in 1995, and he dedicated the final nine years of his life his remarkable life to fighting for a cure for paralysis and for many reasons I wish he were here today to see how far the research has come. This breakthrough sounds like science fiction, but it's real and holds great promise for a bright future. This morning, a medical breakthrough. Researchers using the power of one man's thoughts to help overcome his decade-long battle with paralysis. And of course, yeah, you dream of walking. Overnight, Hertjan Oskam speaking with ABC News, describing the 2011 motorcycle crash that left him paralyzed from the waist down. I tried everything at home, trying to stand up and making steps, but it wasn't enough. Last year, researchers in Switzerland surgically inserted electronic implants to the areas of Oskam's brain and spinal cord that control movement. With the help of artificial intelligence, AI, they built what they call a digital bridge between his brain and spine, bypassing his injuries, essentially putting his thoughts into action. So I think about moving my leg and then uh, the stimulation uh, gives me a pulse to make the step. While this type of AI has been used in medicine for decades, now researchers are saying this is the first successful procedure of its kind, AI being used as a thought decoder, processing what the neurons in the brain region are trying to do and sending that signal to the spine. We re-establish this communication with a digital bridge that transforms the thought into action. His small steps, a potentially giant leap for patients with spinal cord injury. Even when Oscom's implants are turned off, he says he can still walk with the help of crutches. Our mission to bring it to other people. It's still very early stages for this breakthrough. Hertjan is the first human to have this procedure done. It's not yet widely available to patients, but this news provides the most valuable currency for spinal cord injury patients, hope. And it offers empirical proof of the creed by which my father lived. Nothing is impossible, guys. Yeah, we're, we're seeing that now. Your father, he's a huge advocate for spinal cord injury research. And you could say that what we're seeing today is that for a direct impact on, on what he was lobbying yeah. for and pushing for. If I could be a proud son for a moment, you can draw a you straight line <laughs> from his advocacy, bringing so much attention and money to research, trying to find cures to developments like today. And I said, I wish he were here for a million reasons, many of them personal, but also he would be the first in line to sign up for this procedure. He always said, oh, to be a rat, because they're always testing, <laughs> they're always testing rats. He would want this and he would be thrilled today. This is a huge moment in the community. I tell you, he's here in ways you don't realize. Yeah, yeah. I, really I, I had the privilege of knowing your folks and working with them. They are so proud of you. Mm -hmm. they, they are so proud of you, as we are. All right, well. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.